Hi, my name is Anna Pusakovic and I'm a software developer in the MariaDB Foundation. The topic of this talk is uh, using LibreOffice with MariaDB and Docker. More specifically, the goal of the talk is to explain on the showcases the step, steps uh, to connect LibreOffice-based module and MariaDB uh, using uh, ODBC connector. So this talk is not about the features of uh, the LibreOffice base. Uh, that said, uh, the agenda for this talk is how to start the MariaDB server and create the data. <laughs> we will see how to uh, use the MariaDB ODBC connector. Uh, we will then start using LibreOffice Base and uh, connect to the running instance. We will repeat uh, all steps uh, from above uh, on the isolated uh, environment using Docker, and in the end, we will try to automate things using the Docker file. So uh, let's get started. Uh, MariaDB is a free and open uh, source database uh, created by the original developers of uh, MySQL. It is default in most uh, Linux distributions uh, with the code residing uh, in the GitHub. Uh, to find out more about MariaDB, please visit the uh, MariaDB Foundation URL. And if you want to contribute, contribute please uh, visit this uh, URL. Uh, I would like to thanks to our, to our sponsor for supporting us. Uh, in order to start with the MariaDB, you have to install it. Uh, there's the one uh, link you can follow. Uh, for uh, on in this talk, I will uh, use a source installation, so uh, you can find uh, more steps how to do that on this link. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I will first navigate to the to my builds where I have a different version of uh, MariaDB. Uh, the latest development uh, branch is 10.6, and uh, for this talk we will use 10.5, and we will connect uh, to the server running the MySQL D binary. And uh, currently uh, MySQL D server is uh, running in the debug mode. Uh, after that we will connect with the client. Uh, so, uh, one option is to connect with the MySQL, but starting from 10.5, there is also MariaDB <laughs> as a symlink. So, uh, we can here inspect uh, and run uh, SQL query that you want. Okay, so we are sure it works. <clears throat> Enough. So, the next step is <laughs> to see how to connect uh, to the uh, MariaDB ODBC uh, connector. So, uh, in order to do to that, to do that, uh, uh, I'll, I prepared already uh, uh, some uh, files. Uh, so, first of all, uh, we need to, to follow right uh, steps, uh, and the first step is to download the MariaDB ODBC connector. Uh, ODBC stands for Open Database Connectivity. It is the API uh, that is used uh, and standardized. And the MariaDB has its own uh, connector that is implemented through the uh, shared library. So first step is to uh, download uh, uh, this uh, tar, uh, tarball. Um, and the latest version of MariaDB ODBC is uh, 3.1.7. Uh, I already have done that, and uh, after uh, extract, extracting files, you will end with uh, two, <coughs> two, two folders. Uh, one is a shared directory, so it is just for uh, documentation, and the second one is the lib directory, and there you can find uh, the uh, shared shared file, uh, sh shared library, and in the MariaDB directory, there are different types of <coughs> plugins that we will not use for this purpose. Okay. Uh, after that, we have to uh, install some uh, dependencies. Uh, that dependency is uh, uh, so uh, is uh, Unix. Sorry. Unix ODBC, Unix ODBC dev, so let me uh, install them. Uh, so install Unix ODBC, Unix ODBC dev, open uh, SSH client and ODBC install. Uh, so uh, uh, <coughs> 
Unix ODBC is uh, used as a uh, driver manager. Unix ODBC has that header files and other binaries needed for uh, ODBC connection. Uh, OpenSSH client is used for uh, MariaDB ODBC connect to connect, and the ODBC inst, inst is used for uh, installing uh, configuration uh, files. Uh, just one variation that if you have git installed you don't need OpenSSH client. Uh, okay, uh, so after installing these packages um, it is uh, good to create some uh, template files. Uh, I have already created two template files, one for the driver and the second one for the data source name. <coughs> so. Let's first see what is uh, in the driver. Uh, in the driver template file, we have the name of the driver, uh, description, and the uh, driver path. Uh, all these parameters are mandatory. Uh, in order to check uh, what you have installed, you can run uh, ODBC uh, inst uh, and query for the driver. I have already uh, installed the driver, but let me uh, uninstall. Uh, that driver and uh, uninstall driver and which driver Maria DB ODBC. Uh, okay, it's not working. I need to add. So, okay, so uh, now when I query for the driver, I will, I will uh, end with uh, no driver. So, in order to install it, uh, we have to run. So, why sudo? Uh, uh, ODBC inst uh, is uh, uh, using the uh, these uh, files to create uh, uh, configuration files uh, that are, that can be found uh, using this dash j option. So if we run dash uh, j option, we will find everything uh, what we need to know about the. <coughs> Uh, Unix ODBC uh, configuration pads. So drivers goes uh, drivers go in uh, etc, uh, and the system data sources go in the same directory. While we have also user data sources that we'll use in this uh, uh, talk. So let's install the driver. So install driver. Okay, uh, from the file uh, ODBC driver, and yeah, we have to use it. Uh, driver installed, so let's inspect in the ODBC inst ini. So we will, need, we will see now that we have all installed, and let's all, all also uh, query for the driver, it should be the same. Okay, now uh, as stated here, we can uh, uh, install also a data source. Uh, data source, uh, so driver is used uh, to tell the Unix uh, ODBC uh, how to recognize uh, which driver we want to uh, enable, and the data source is uh, their server uh, specific uh, parameters. So let me show you first uh, example of what we want to install. Uh, <clears throat> so this is one. Uh, Example of the data source, uh, it has the name, description, uh, which driver to use. In this case, we want to use the newly created MariaDB ODBC connector driver. Uh, well, what is the name of the server, which, you, which user, and the password you want to use to connect and uh, on which uh, database, and the port. Uh, so, uh, again, we will use ODBC inst tool to install. Uh, so uh, we want to install what we want to install. We want to install source, uh, and here are two options. Uh, we can install a system data source and the user uh, data source. I will use uh, user data source, and from the file uh, called DSN. Uh, when I run that, uh, I can inspect in uh, this file. Uh, okay, and yeah. Uh, it is installed. Also, you can query uh, for the uh, data source and you will end with uh, MariaDB server. Let's copy that because we want now to verify uh, did we, uh, uh, is, the, is the connection uh, good. So, in order to do that, we can use uh, ISQL utility and the call the name of the uh, data source. Uh, and uh, we, we have to uh, have 
uh, running server in order to do this to work. And then we run that, it is uh, connected, and we got the <coughs> uh, we got the uh, terminal, right? So we can also here run show database. Okay, uh, use test and so on. Uh, let's let's create here uh, two tables. For example, show tables and let's drop it. Table. Let's drop web posts and web users. Okay. And again, uh, show tables, there's nothing. So uh, let's, for the sake of uh, uh, this talk, use the data from the, uh, as interpreted as the JSON, uh, on the following uh, link. Uh, so in order to use this data from this link, uh, we, can, we can use the uh, feature of uh, Connect Storage Engine. So, if we create table uh, as a storage engine, uh, connect, and with table type JSON, specifying the uh, URL uh, that is in the JSON format, uh, we will end with uh, a created a table. Uh, so let me just select all from the users, and yeah, we have. Uh, now here uh, 10 re uh, records. Uh, how that work is that uh, Connect Storage Engine uh, using the table discovery uh, find out internal structure of the uh, uh, data uh, <coughs> from the source. So you can also show create a table that uses to see uh, the fields that are uh, how, how the table is created. Okay, so uh, the same what we can do is uh, using the post uh, uh, URL and create the new data from the post. It will take some time or not. Mm, doesn't work. And I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. Why it doesn't work? Show tables. Uh, it, it is already created. Select all from web posts, and yeah, we have 100 rows uh, created. Okay, so now we have uh, shown how to uh, uh, how to uh, install uh, the driver, how to install the data source names, and we also verified using the ISQL. Okay, so the next step. Uh, is to start uh, the LibreOffice space, right? So LibreOffice is free open source uh, graphical user interface a relational database manager, management system. Uh, so it is used for managing uh, uh, databases uh, in order to uh, use uh, the LibreOffice space. One need to install LibreOffice base package. Uh, I already have done that and from the terminal you can run uh, Hello base. Uh, by default, uh, you can create a new database in uh, IJSQL DB uh, embedded, but we want to connect to existing database. So here are different options to connect. Uh, there's ODBC connector, a connection uh, option to directly connect through the ODBC, but also there, there's MySQL uh, option. So when we uh, click on this, we have two types of uh, uh, options ODBC or GDBC. Uh, it would be cool if uh, uh, with MySQL uh, also MariaDB uh, could be in the, in the option because both uh, databases have the same <coughs> uh, connection APIs. Okay, let's use MySQL and use ODBC. And now we want to say which data source to use. Uh, uh, data source is already uh, verified and uh, it is in the list of the options, and we click that, and after that, we can test for the connection. So let's use uh, Anel, and yeah, uh, connection test is successful. Cool. So let's see what uh, else we can do with the LibreOffice base. So we have now to register database. <clears throat> so registering in, in this sense means that um, uh, database is viewable by, by other uh, LibreOffice modules like uh, Calc and Calc and uh, Writer, and uh, now when we finish with this, let's use this one. Yes, 
uh, we will have not we will have nice and graphical user interface uh, so we can inspect uh, our data more more clearly right and it's cool okay <clears throat> so uh, we covered also uh, deliver office space uh, and uh, now if we want to have uh, some uh, uh, isolated environment uh, we can uh, use docker so uh, in order to do so uh, we first need to uh, here are the steps that uh, that uh, we will follow so let me first uh, stop the uh, LibreOffice base because we now know it works and uh, first we need to create the, the network so this step is important because uh, the, the default bridge uh, uh, network doesn't work with the uh, MariaDB uh, server so docker create uh, no, no docker network uh, create and I will call it uh, MariaDB net so now we can inspect the uh, networks so we have the bridge that is the default network and also my ATB net okay uh, I will copy paste this uh, command uh, and I will explain it here more so the next step is to run the uh, uh, the container uh, on the network that we already created we are giving the name to the container MariaDB let's call it not C2 let's call it C1 and uh, also, we are specifying the uh, some environment uh, variables. Uh, for example, uh, we are creating on the startup of the server a new user uh, with called Anil and with the password Anil. And also, we are creating the new database. Uh, this data, uh, this user will have uh, only grants uh, to this database, and we will see that. Uh, also. Uh, we are uh, creating the uh, password for the root and uh, um, the last two options are for uh, enabling uh, graphical user interface uh, for uh, LibreOffice so we are using uh, Unix domain socket of uh, X server and uh, re redirecting uh, that but before, before that we have to uh, uh, run the X host uh, plus local uh, Docker. Uh, here we are saying that uh, we uh, enable Docker. Uh, we enable Docker uh, to uh, have the connections to the X server. So when we run this and then we run uh, this container, right? Uh, it will start in the background. So uh, first, uh, let's see how to uh, use the uh, how to connect uh, with the uh, how to how to create the new new container and um, uh, connect uh, with the client. So uh, let's run Doctor Network. Um, okay. So uh, on the image uh, ten point five and run MariaDB uh, client uh, on the host MariaDB uh, C one with the user. Uh, one that I created already, an L and the password B. An L. Okay, now mm, this is not uh, working, and the reason because I didn't specify uh, IT. And let's add this. So, yeah, now it works. So, we will then select uh, current user, add in this uh, an L, and also we will show databases. And as we can see, there is the LibreOffice database, and this user has only rights uh, to this uh, database. Information schema is the system uh, system database. So let's show grants for current user. And yeah, we can see that this user has all privileges. Okay, so let's exit from this container, and now let's uh, run the uh, LibreOffice base in this container. So in order to do that, uh, execute uh, command uh, for this container. And we are now inside the container and we can now run uh, our base. Uh, this will not work because we need to install it. Uh, update and install our base. So now this will work and, and uh, it will take some time. Uh, 
wrong package. LibreOffice Base. Okay, uh, the package installed and we can now run uh, Allo Base. Yeah, so we get the uh, graphical user interface. Of course, uh, the connection will not work because we don't we didn't set anything uh, for for this, but just to verify <coughs> that we can run LibreOffice Base from the Docker. Okay, so we can now exit. Uh, so the logical next step is uh, to ask ourselves uh, how to automate uh, something. So the next step is uh, to create a Docker file. So <coughs> uh, I have already created uh, one. A Docker file, my ATP 10.5. So um, basically, it is using the um, MariaDB image, uh, the list of the images you can find on the uh, Docker Hub. Uh, and uh, I'm installing all the dependencies uh, that are needed and uh, uh, downloading the uh, MariaDB ODBC connector, extracting it, uh, and uh, also. <coughs> creating the uh, template files which will be uh, installed and after that there is just the uh, instructions uh, what to do after this so uh, docker file is used to create a new image uh, in order to create a new image uh, run uh, docker build uh, t uh, the name of the image and uh, uh, from the file MariaDB 10.5 and the path, uh, this path, uh, I already have uh, created uh, the image MariaDB base with the tag ODBC. So let's run this uh, command, and as you can see, it is uh, one gigabyte. Uh, and uh, MariaDB base ODBC, and yeah. It is very fast because it is already created. So now, when we have this image, uh, we can uh, again uh, start the new container. Let's call it MariaDBC2 uh, with everything uh, else like before. But instead of uh, calling this image, we will call MariaDB base ODBC. Okay. And again, uh, we will uh, execute call the execute command on MariaDBC2, and uh, we will run. Uh, before running uh, the Allo base, we need to change something. Uh, let's first change this DSN. So we need to change the, the name of the server. Name of the server is the name of the container. So it is C2. Uh, I have created the user with the password uh, an LNL, and the, the test database doesn't exist. It exists only LibreOffice database. So uh, now, when we run the Allo base, and when we connect to the ODBC, uh, we will have the DSN next, and. Uh, we can test connection, yeah, and connection is uh, verified and is good. So let's just finish this. Uh, and yeah, we have now <coughs> created, so let's create some table. Uh, X, T, uh, save this, uh, okay. On in the database, LibreOffice, we will create as a table one. Uh, there is no primary key to be created. Okay, no problem. Go back and yeah, we see that we have now the table. Okay, so uh, this is it. Uh, last thing that I want to point is that um, uh, in this link we have created the <coughs> uh, knowledge base uh, tutorial. Uh, in MariaDB, in order how to use LibreOffice Base uh, as a, a front end uh, for the database, in this case for the Mari MariaDB, uh, and I'm looking forward for uh, contributions from LibreOffice uh, community. 
So that's it. Uh, thanks for everything and uh, see you next time.